third triplet starts in A, B flat, C. It's a tritonal way. Okay? So this row is symmetric at the tritone too. You see that? Everybody? So, so that's an important thing to remember that 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 basically trichord C and D are just a tritone away from A and C, A and B. Okay, they're just a transposition by a tritone. And that creates that 12 tone row. Now, what I'd like to do is let's play through this row, and we're going to do what we did when we only had one trichord. We're going to play through all the rotations, okay? So we're going to go E flat, E, F sharp, and then through all those. And then we're going to start on each rotation. Now I'll play it first for you so you can hear what it sounds like, okay? depending on what you, how you build your rows. But if you're dealing with what's called um, derived rows, and that's what we're talking about, rows that are derived from one set class, one tricord set class, there's only like 220 of them. Now, that sounds like a lot, but when you're dealing with modes from, from, from di the diatonic system, all your major modes, all your, all your uh, harmonic minor and melodic uh, minor modes, there's more than that. There's a lot more than that. So you've, if you practice any of the diatonic modes and the corresponding chords, you've done a lot more work than there is with this, okay? Um, but this is a different way of approaching it. It's not, it's because we're not thinking functionally, we're thinking structurally. So it is a different kind of approach, but there's not as much material, so you can kind of take heart in that, you know? <laughs> so, um, so anyway, what you want to do is after you're able to play through these, then we want to take and we want to look at, we want to break it down. Because we want to understand what the possible melodic content and harmonic content exists. Rather than playing all four trichords, which is perfectly fine, what if I only play two trichords like we did before from this row? What are two trichords, A and B, what do they have to say? What does A and C have to say? What does A and D have to say, right? What does B and C have to say, okay? So this is something you want to work on. Now I'll play through all these trichords and give you an example of what they sound like. So if I go between A and B in all the rotations. <laughs>
regardless of the position. I can do A and D, but they're a great distance apart. Right? So if I invert the two and do D, C, see how they're closer to each other, right? They're, they're a major third away. That's, that's a D and A. Now, B and C. B and D. Okay, now, notice that the ones that I played that are tritone apart, trichord A and trichord C, and trichord B and trichord D, those are your two diminished scales. So let's do that. Everyone, let's play A and let's play C. All right, here we go. So that's really just E flat half whole diminished, right? If I complete it. Right? It's just missing two pitches. Now let's do B and C. demonstrated now we're gonna play so they're written out for you uh, as one two three four now I came up with a nomenclature that for me I think is is the probably the only way I could think of to label these things right because we need to be able to call them something so from this row when we play a B or trichord C and D the distance between them the combination is always going to be a trichord 1 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 at the distance of a whole step. So 2 means a whole step, right? So play any trichord 1 plus 2 and go up a whole step and play 2 plus 1. And that's from the row, right? So that's the nomenclature. So that's when you see like 1 plus 2, this, you know, number 2. This is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 6. Now, Obviously, you know, there's a lot of material here, but you have to work on it slowly and just get used to the row. There's only four structures that are contained within that 12-tone row. These are the only four. We have A, uh, number one, number two, number three, number four. So in terms of different kinds of combinations, it's limited. You know, we were talking about this. It's not this huge body of stuff. It's a limited amount of stuff, but it's a different way of organizing. So let's play through number one real quickly. And let's try and play through all the rotations of the number one. Okay? 